Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tech Steve. In today's video, I have the Sonus One speaker with built-in Alexa. So sit back and relax and let me tell you all about it. Sonus is one of those speaker companies who's been doing it for a very long time. In fact, the first Wi-Fi setup I seen with speakers throughout your house was by Sonus. This particular one has two different drivers. It has a tweeter and a mid-bass woofer, which also is powered by a D-class amplifier, so it's gonna give you really good sound. The speaker also has six microphones, so it can hear your voice when you're doing Alexa commands. So let's take a closer look and see what comes in the box. In the box, you get a setup guide. You get an ethernet cable for plugging into your router. You get a power cable, and you get the speaker. Now this is a really nice speaker. It weighs about four pounds and it's pretty heavy duty. The Sonus S1 is also available in two different colors. You have black and you have white. The speaker does feel really premium to the feel. Again, it's heavyweight and on the front you have this mesh cover to cover the drivers and the insides. On the back side you have a power button and you also have your ethernet input. On the bottom you're gonna find the input for your power cable. On the top, you're gonna to find your microphone mute button, your play pause button, and you can swipe to change tracks. Now when setting up this Sonus unit, you wanna use Wi-Fi and use two different applications. You have the Sonus application, and you also need the Amazon Alexa app to use the voice commands. Let me show you how to set that up. From your iPhone or your Android device, go ahead and type in Sonus, and then press get app. First, you wanna click on the Sonus app to get everything ready to go. Next, you want to press on set up a new Sonus system. Then set up a new account if you don't have one. If not, go ahead and sign in if, to your existing system. If you're setting up as a new user, you need to go to your email to verify the account to go to the next stage. Now press continue and do your standard setup. And now you want to plug in your power supply to your unit. And you'll see a white light flash on top to let you know that it's starting to get ready for your setup. And wait to the light to flash green on top of your unit. Now that it found your unit, go ahead and press set up this player. The next thing it's gonna do is find the Wi-Fi that your phone is connected to and then press next. Since it joined automatically, I can now press done. Now press this infinity button on the back of the unit. Now that it added, press next. Choose the location and where it's gonna be located. Press next. Since I only have one unit, I don't want to add a second one. Now it's going to update all the software in the unit. With the Sonus app all up and ready to go, let's connect it to the Alexa system so I can start using the voice commands. From the Browse menu, press Add Amazon Alexa. Make sure you have the Amazon Alexa app installed, then press on the link to continue. Press Add to Sonus. Now you need to log into your Amazon account. All you have to do now is press Allow so you can link up the two devices. Now once you get everything set up and ready to go, you need to say one last thing. Alexa, discover mm -hmm. devices. Now let's try some voice commands just to show you that Alexa works on it. Keep in mind when you see the white light, the microphone is on, and you press it again, the microphone is off. Alexa, what's the weather mm -hmm. like today? Right now in San Diego, it's 59 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. What team does LeBron James play for? The team that LeBron James is a player of is Cleveland Cavaliers. What's 563 divided by 12? 563 divided by 12 rounds to 46.917. Now it's time for what you've been waiting for. Let's listen to some music. Now I'm going to show you some other features of the Sonus app. 
The first screen you see is my Sonus. You can favorite things inside of the applications by hitting the three dots in the corner and adding it to this favorite list. The next button is Browse. Once you click on that, you'll see all the different music services that you have added to the device. You also can see all the music built into your phone as well. By default, TuneIn Radio comes pre-installed. Next, you have Rooms. And this is where you can set up all your different devices if you have more than one. You can search for songs, albums, stations, and genre. Then if you press more in the corner, you have all your different settings. You have your inbox. Voice services is like your Alexa. Add music services. It does support Apple's music if you pan for the app. iHeartRadio, Pandora, Spotify. A whole list of different applications here. The next part is where you can set up alarms. So you can wake up to music. You can also do it by the Alexa voice command. Then you have settings at the bottom here. As you can see, there's a lot of details that you can cover inside of these settings. Boost settings, room settings. Another thing you can do is when you're in browse mode and you see this little arrow up, you have some options here by hitting the three dots. You can crossfade your music. You also can add a sleep timer. So here's my final thoughts about this speaker. It sounds incredible. I know I put the mic in front of it, but it doesn't do it justice of being here in person. Some other things about it, it doesn't have Bluetooth. And even though it has ethernet connection, when you have it plugged into ethernet, it will not control the Alexa device. So just remember that. But overall, this is a fantastic speaker. It retails for about $200 and I'll leave a link in the description below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.